your energy forecast for Sunday, September 15th. So we have the moon in Aquarius all day, which of course helps us to emotionally detach from our situations, from our circumstances in order to act as the observer. And of course, from that particular perspective, we start seeing where there are solutions to some of the problems that of course we've been too close to, to actually see. This is definitely going to help us kind of shift our mood, shift our attitude into a better perspective, a better optimistic approach to some of the struggles of the circumstances that we've been dealing with. Now, again, let me just remind you, we are getting super close to this eclipse, which means that our senses are heightened. Our head has a lot more pressure in it than normal. Our emotions kind of bouncing all over the place, even though the Aquarius energy allows us to be emotionally detached. We do have some emotions rising to the surface in order for us to acknowledge them, to work on them, to process them, to transmute them into something better or prepare to release them under this full moon event. If you haven't listened to this week's Ascension forecast as of yet, I'm going to welcome you to do so. And of course, if you're interested in doing a deep dive in this eclipse energy, there is a full eclipse edition astro class available on my Patreon and I am going to try something new. I am going to release it to my membership tier here on YouTube. That will be launched around 12 p.m. here on Sunday, September 15th. So with all of that being said, there are 14 different aspects popping off here today. Ten of them are going to involve the moon. So the moon in Aquarius energy going to kick things off in a good way. We're making a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in cancer energy, not his best energy, let's say. We are more attached to the past than anything else in the cancer energy. We are definitely trying to make moves, take action to protect ourselves. Whether that is emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically speaking, there is this sense of having to fight, defend, protect what it is that we've already built, what it is that we've already created. We're doubling down on our safety, on our security, on our stability. And so the moon interacting with Mars is definitely putting a little bit of a pep in our step. The moon, of course, is futuristically focused. Mars, in this present moment, doing what we can in the here and now to, again, provide ourselves with a little bit more reassurance in our emotional realm, in our physical realm. But we are actively trying to think about our futuristic realm and the gap, the distance, if you will, in between where it is that we're at and where it is that we desire to be. That cancer energy is also a illuminating where it is that we need better boundaries, either to protect ourselves, to protect our emotions, to kind of understand the parameters, especially in our relationship dynamics on how it is that we're going to move forward from here. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in her rulership in Libra energy. She is going to be trining beautiful interaction with Jupiter. This particular influence is actually going to still be semi-activated under the full moon lunar eclipse, which of course is definitely going to heighten our awareness on what it is that we want, what we need, what we desire. We have this trine with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. Of course, Jupiter is in Gemini energy. We are definitely divided with two different choices, different options, different paths, different directions. We are supposed to be expanding on some of the ideas that we've already had, some of the interests that we've been percolating on. Having this air on air action is definitely putting us all up in the headspace, but to realize what it is that we're actually enjoying in life, where it is that there are some good things happening, focusing on those silver linings, recognizing what brings us happiness, what brings us joy, and what we want more of. The moon in Aquarius going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Neptune, who of course is retrograde in his rulership in this Pisces energy. A lot of this is because the tension, the conflict needs to be illuminated. We are intellectually in our headspace with that Aquarius energy, trying to figure out how we're going to move forward, how we're planning, how we're strategizing 
energizing. The one thing that we're missing out is, of course, the Neptune energy, which is our intuition, which is connecting with the higher self, which is listening to that inner realm of guidance. There's a conflict there, part of us, very anchored into the intellectual part of our brain, the other part of us trying to push us into our heart space, into our intuition. Now, either way, the goal, the vision, the dream that we're being downloaded with from our higher self, we're trying to make good sense of, let's say, under that Aquarius energy. And so this is where things are going to get a little bit confusing, I would say, when we want a lot more clarity than we're actually receiving at this particular juncture. And emotionally speaking, we're kind of creating a lot more anxiety around futuristic situations and there actually needs to be. The moon in Aquarius then going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibility, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. We have Saturn in a retrograde in this Pisces energy Energy, trying to help us wrap up a 30 year cycle, trying to help us deconstruct the old ways that we have operated, the old world that the old version of self had created, the old vision, the old belief system. Now, the moon interacting with Saturn is definitely going to put us in a situation where we're thinking about futuristic wants, needs, and desires, and we're starting to get a little bit more focused on the details, the shift in our inner realm, the way that we think, the way that we feel about certain wants, needs, and desires. We have to build a better structure. We have to build a, fed, a better foundation of what we actually believe we can achieve and believe we actually deserve. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the sun, the moon in Aquarius, the sun in Virgo energy. Anytime that the sun and the moon are coming together, there's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be an emotional awareness on what it is that we have to do, what it is that we have to pursue, what it is that we have to build, what it is that we have to create. Issue here is, even though this is a, a positive interaction, the moon in Aquarius is futuristically focused while the sun is shining a bright light on the present moment in the here and now. The Virgo energy wants to focus on the smaller details needed to be piecing together, needing to be planned and strategized around in order to actually bridge the gap from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. The moon is then going to try and beautiful interaction with Jupiter. So again, there's a lot of optimism coming in. We're feeling pretty confident about our goals, our visions, our dreams. We're feeling, I'm going to say, overly happy, overly joyous. Keep that particular energy going for as long as you possibly can, because as we've been exploring, uh, the minute that we finally gain some clarity, some insight, the minute that we're starting to feel good about something, those dark force energies come creeping in and pull us back into fear, doubts, and insecurities. Either way, we're gaining a lot more information, a lot more detail, if you will, on where it is that we would like to go from here. We are definitely leaning towards one idea, one thought, one path, one direction over the other, and we're feeling pretty good about it. The moon is then going to trine Venus. So as you know, Venus and Jupiter, they had their beautiful kickoff earlier in the day. Now the moon is getting involved. The moon trining Venus is definitely going to drop us in our heart space and really have us focused on what is working, what feels good, what we want to build, what we want to create in order to have more of this. This is definitely going to allow us to see the greater, grander perspective of our relationship dynamics, of our money matters, on our peace, what that actually looks like, what that feels like, and what we have to do in our physical realms to, again, create more of it on a day-to-day -day basis. The moon is going to make an awkward interaction with Mars, though. Here's where that, you know, light and fluffy vibe is definitely going to take a turn. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger in this cancer energy, which is bringing up all the feels, although we're more so on the passive aggressive defensive side than anything else. Right now, we're having a hard time because, again, emotionally speaking, we want to be so fixated on what is to come, the futuristic goal, the vision, the dream, while Mars, on the other hand, just concerned about preserving what it is that we've already built, what it is that we've already created. Even more than that, Mars is fixated on the past. Mars is trying to build boundaries, structures, if you will, to, again, 
really kind of preserve all of the growth, all of the healing, all of the energy that we've already put in to really growing, really evolving our emotional state. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with that north node in Aries energy. This is definitely going to highlight where it is that we're having a problem trying to figure out what the next move is. Of course, that north node trying to get us on the right path to reach new goals, new missions, new dreams, especially where our soul purpose is concerned. The moon in Aquarius energy, usually thinking of the futuristic possibilities, the realm in which we want to find ourselves in, but the vision is too big. Again, not saying that it's not achievable, not saying that it's not obtainable, but emotionally speaking, we are missing a lot of information. We're missing a lot of the baby steps needed in order to bridge the gap from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money is going to be making a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, who of course is retrograde in Taurus energy. Venus rules over the Taurus energy that Uranus is in. Of course, Venus already in her other rulership in Libra and energy. This is definitely going to get us heart aligned. We're starting to figure out where it is that we have to devise a better plan, a better strategy for making some changes, making some improvements, especially where our day to day routine is concerned. Our relationship dynamics are concerned and our money matters are concerned as well. The moon going to sextile Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries energy. This is a beautiful interaction because we're starting to see this new version of self from the higher perspective, if you will. Again, acting as the observer, seeing where it is that we're growing, seeing where it is that we're healing, seeing where it is that we've overcome some situations and circumstances that last year's version of self would absolutely be broken under. This is a huge amount of growth, a huge amount of evolving that we're really noticing coming into play that we're integrating in this version of self that we're putting into practice each and every single day the moon of course then going to make a harsh interaction with the sun in virgo energy and of course again through the tension through the conflict we will be illuminated to an aha moment on what it is that we have to do in order to grow in order to improve in order to heal that moon in aquarius again very futuristically focused the sun in virgo energy very present in the here and now we're starting to understand where it is that emotionally speaking we may be kind of glossing over a lot of the problematic areas, a lot of issues that we have to contend with in this present moment that we have to fix, heal, resolve before we can even get started blazing this new path into the future, into this new vision, into this new goal and dream. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she's going to be making a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who of course is retrograde in the Pisces energy. This is likely going to bring a little bit more of a serious and somber tone, although it is not a harsh aspect. What this is going to do is it's going to get us heart aligned, really focused on what we have to do to build and create a happier realm, a happier reality. We are starting to realize where it is that emotionally speaking, we're being pulled into a new path, a new direction, where it is that we have wants, needs, and desires for our futuristic goals, where our financial situation are, is concerned. And we have to kind of get a little bit serious on the planning, on the strategy that we have to be piecing together at this time in order to actually get ourselves there. The last thing that we have going on here today is Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with this north node in Aries energy. And a lot of that is because, first of all, Mars rules over the Aries energy. So the fire, the pep in our step, the want, need, and desire to take action and make moves to actually see some progress in a new path and a new direction is overwhelming. What is stopping us, you may ask? That cancer energy. That cancer energy is so fixated on the past. We've been praying for change, but really not willing to do what needs to be done in order to create that change in this present moment in the here and now. And again, we're on defense mode, trying to fight, defend, protect what it is that we've already built, what it is that we've already created. <laughs> 